everybody. My name is Mindy Woodward, and I am going to talk to you this week about parenting, which seems like a really daunting subject to talk about in just a few minutes, but rest assured, I am only going to get you started on this process. So first things first, you have permission to love yourself and to love your journey because your journey will look different than every other person out there. And so I want to give you that permission because you have God walking beside you in the whole journey and the whole process. And you do not have to compare to anybody else's process. If you were to compare to me, it would not be fair because I've been a Christian my whole life and a parent for over a decade. So if you're just getting started on this process, then comparing with me, first of all, you probably don't see where I mess up every day and I need the grace of God. And I go very, very often to the heart of the father to see what I need to be doing differently or how I can improve what I'm already doing. So don't compare to other people. It's not fair to you and it's not fair to your kids. Why? Because there are things that are within you that your children are desperately needing. That is why God chose you as their mother. And so I want you to have permission to love yourself. The next thing is start exactly where you are. Whether you've walked all kinds of roads, um, gone through tragedy and all those things, start exactly where you are. Because in the learning, um, your children will see you learn, but you have an authority in the spiritual realm that nobody else will. You'll be able to say things and do things that your children will hear from you that they won't hear from anybody else. And so I promise you as a mother, you carry a spiritual authority that will help greater than you could ever imagine. And so just be real, just be honest and walk your path, right? So with that, I have two keys to start your journey. The first key is to get into the Bible have a love affair with the Bible and the scriptures, bring your children into it. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to be a theologian. You don't have to, to know it all or even know exactly what you're doing. Just bring your children in already and all learn together. And the reason for that is, is because everything rises and falls on what the scriptures say. So you get to learn how to grow in wisdom and in favor with God and men. You know how to walk in the precepts of God. The other thing is you get to hear the heart of the Father for you. And one of those is he desperately loves you and he wants you to succeed and he wants your children to succeed. And so the closer you get in a relationship with him, the closer your children will get and also like the more you won't want to do the things of the world any longer. And so you can really walk in alignment with God and teach your children if you will get into the Bible. So in 2 Timothy 3.16, it says, All scripture is God-breathed and is purposed for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. That's in the Bible. Like, that's so cool. Like, that's a huge scripture for us mommies is that scripture is God-breathed and it'll help us move into how to teach and rebuke and correct and train because I don't know about your house, but at my house, we have all of those things. And so it's really nice to get into alignment with Christ, with um, his purpose for their lives and the purpose for your life. And you are so valued and you walk in this authority that you can do so. And so the co other cool thing is, is that as you develop a love for the scriptures with your children and yourself, you know, Proverbs gives you a promise that in Proverbs 22, six, it says that if you'll train up a child in the way she, he or she should go, then when they are old, they won't depart from it. And over and over, I heard testimony after testimony of prodigal children, even prodigals will come home because of the voice of their mother or because of what they learned when they were growing up and things like that. So the other key that I want to share with you is praying. Praying is a huge deal. First of all, because now your authority in the spiritual realm has just multiplied beyond anything you could ever ask or imagine over your children. You can protect them. You can pray protections over them. You can pray that people will come in their lives, divine connections, all of those things. You can pr teach them how to pray. 
one of the things I love to do is to walk around their room and touching every wall. You can touch their pillows, you can touch things and just praying different things that kind of come up in your spirit. Again, it, it goes hand in hand with knowing scriptures, but if you don't, there are fantastic resources out there on things that you can pray over your children. But it's so important. The number one gift that you can give your children is praying for them daily. And so that is one part of the parenting journey that you can avoid a lot of contention and strife, but you can also um, move forward in things. You, you know how maybe to react to a terrible attitude or maybe you get divine revelation on how to better potty train your children and then now you can help the rest of us, right? But that's the thing is that praying over your children brings a release that nobody else in the whole wide world can do like you, mom, because you are their mother and you hold that spiritual authority. So those are two keys that I wanted, that I really want to beat into you as a new Christian or any Christ, any, anybody on the timeline of Christianity is get into that Bible, know it, get into it, bring your children into your learning, growing and, and, and getting better and pray for your children. Pray for them differently. Pray over their territory. Pray over their lives. Pray over the relationships that they're going to have with friends and future spouses. What you do makes a huge amount of difference. And God chose you for your children. And you can do this. And you can be a really great mom. I hope you have a great week. And we will see you next week.